There is one name synonymous with innovations in agriculture, farming, food, and so much more. So hot off their day one keynote, please welcome John Deere's Vice President of Production and Precision Agriculture Production Systems. Deanna Kovar, hey, thank you. It's Ryan. so good to see you so in good person. To be here. Yeah. And the title is still incredible. It's long. <laughs> it is amazing. So, um, Deanna, thanks for coming out and hanging out with us in the studio. You know, with John Deere's uh, continued investment into next gen tech for its customers, it's really no surprise, like, you've made big headlines here at the showcase. So, can you give us maybe some of the highlights from your keynote yesterday that people might not know about? Yeah, yesterday was a huge honor <laughs> for me to be a part of the keynote uh, where we really represented tens of thousands of John Deere employees, our John Deere dealers, and most importantly, the farmers who grow the food that we all eat. And yesterday, we talked about how John Deere has a real purpose. We run so life can leap forward. We've got real tech that's in the hands of farmers today and is actually in use all around the world. And it has a real impact on helping farmers grow more with less. You know, the population of the world is going to grow from 8 billion people to 10 billion people by 2050. Wow. And diets are changing, and that means that farmers have a huge challenge to grow 50% more food to feed that population, and the only way we're going to do it is to bring technology to agriculture. You know what, I think that's an interesting point you make because sometimes I think people that are naive or not well-versed in your industry will be like, why are you trying to automate, automate everything? Why are you trying to get rid of the farmer? You're like, no, this is required for us to keep up with the population growth and food demand, right? Yeah, a technology is not a convenience in agriculture, it's a necessity. Farmers deal with three really big challenges. One is changing weather patterns that makes the windows in which they do their work even narrower. The second is rising costs of inputs like seeds and fertilizer that makes it harder for them to be economically sustainable and labor. It's hard to find the skilled labor in rural America and the rural parts of our world. People are moving more and more to cities, and that means there aren't people available in the places where we grow the food to do the work. And so automation and eventually autonomy are required. Mm. And at the same time, farmers are looking for that edge of how do they continue to grow more and more but do it with less inputs. Yeah, you know, you talk, we talk about the technology and how it can be important for some of your customers. Um, how can it actually be important in agriculture and construction? Yeah, so some of the things we talked about yesterday at our keynote are, are technologies that literally help them reduce the inputs they use to grow the crops. One of them is a product we launched in March of 2022 called Sea and Spray Ultimate. And historically, farmers would drive a sprayer through the field and they would spray 100% of the field because they didn't know where the weeds were. And weeds are like bullies. They're, they're taking water and sunlight and nutrients from the crops like corn and soybeans we're trying to grow. So Sea and Spray Ultimate uses 36 cameras and 10 NVIDIA processors on the boom. And at 12 miles an hour, those cameras see 2,200 square feet in front of them. And they're, they're processing 1.2 billion pixels a second. And we have trained the system to understand what's the difference between a healthy corn, soybean, or cotton plant, and what's a weed. That's and it only insane. sprays when it sees a weed. And we're saving up to 60% of the herbicides that the farmer was traditionally applying to those crops. You know, we that's know, yeah. all tech. That, that's incredible. We have footage playing showing off the sea and spray. I, at your booth, you kind of gave a demo of how fast it identifies these at 12 miles per hour, right? We're not talking about like three where you're like walking and going, doo doo. Uh, this, this vehicle is driving at 12 miles per hour. It's, it's really impressive. We've done the math, and it would take <laughs> 6,000 humans to do what it's doing. 6,000. 6,000 to, to see and process and at decide that, at, at that, that speed. At that speed, right? And, and that, that just, that's just not going to happen. No, it's, it's yeah, this is su superhuman capability. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we have this huge, you know, uh, human security for all initiative for here at CES. Uh, how does DEER align with that initiative? Yeah, we're 100% <laughs> aligned. Again, this is all about making sure that farmers can grow more with less to feed this growing population and have a smaller impact on the environment long term. You know, farmers are the stewards of the land. For them, their land is what they hand down to the next generation. And so they're the most focused on making sure they not only do 
a good job from an economic standpoint, but also an environmental standpoint. So we're highly aligned to the strategy because we're trying to make sure that we can create the food, but also we're doing it in a way that protects the land and the water and all the other things that the next generation is going to need to continue to feed itself. I mean, your company is absolutely on the front lines of that initiative right there. Uh, you know, people haven't all been to the booth and there's more than just seeing spray that you have. So um, what can people expect to see you know, that aligns with your announcements? Yeah, well, the first thing you'll see is an amazing looking sprayer <laughs> that does is see and spray. We also have a fully electric excavator in the booth. So as you think about the places in which folks are doing construction and, and digging trenches and, and building infrastructure, a lot of the times that's happening in, in cities and, and around population. And by having a fully electric excavator, it does two things. One is, is noise. It is the quietest thing you'll hear. So yeah. we can get started earlier in the day and stay, stay working later because we're not creating the noise. But it's also good for the environment as well as we replaced a diesel engine with, with electric. And because we have this opportunity, John Deere invested in a company called Chrysler Electric that has its own uh, cooling system that allows us to put these massive batteries inside our vehicles and keep them running uh, all through the day. And then also I saw, was, is it called, part, forgive me if I'm wrong, is it Exact Shot? Exact Shot, yeah. That yeah. was pretty cool. It, it likes seed and spray. So one of the most important jobs farmers do is plant the seeds in the spring. And that it's really important that they plant the seeds very precisely next to one each other and at a precise depth. And we're doing it today at twice the speed we used to do. But the other thing farmers need to do while they're planting those seeds is give them a little jolt because <laughs> Mother Nature doesn't always provide everything those seeds need to emerge out of the ground as a healthy plant. And that's called starter fertilizer. And historically, over time, farmers have put a continuous stream of starter fertilizer in the trench where the seed goes because that's what the tech allowed because they, they had to be fast while they were doing it still. We've created sensor and robotic technology that at 10 miles an hour, which is the differentiator for our tech, integrated into our system, we're dosing only the seed with the starter fertilizer because only the seed needs the jolt. So at 10 miles per hour, we're saving again 60% of the starter fertilizer that farmers were applying before. And this is really important because fertilizer, starter is just one kind of fertilizer farmers use, but fertilizer accounts for a large part of the greenhouse gas emissions in agriculture. And if we can start to reduce that, that's huge. It saves economically for the farmer, but also it's a huge benefit to the environment. Wow. And you know, I, I think when you first started this interview off, you kind of said how when you got to do the keynote, you represented, you know, all your employees and farmers around the world. And you told me that you're a dairy farmer. You come from a dairy farmer family. So yep. what, what, what does it mean to see all this technological advancement and, and how it can, you know, help families like yours growing up and in future generations? Yeah, it's why I get up every day. It's why I have so much passion to really focus on what problems do farmers have today and how can, how can technology and John Deere equipment help solve them? And it's, it's, in, my, it's in my blood it and it's in my history, but you also don't have to come from a farm to have an impact at John Deere. You know, we're really looking for the best and brightest people who want to solve real problems for the globe, yeah. for the population, and bring their, bring their brains to, to the problem. And so it's what's really cool at John Deere is to see the people with a long-standing history in agriculture combined with the folks who have a long-standing history in tech come together yeah. and solve real problems. That, that's amazing. Um, I did want to call out that I know that the John Deere team is watching this live they stream. They are. So I want to get a shout out to, yeah, I'm going to call you all the green team and maybe next year I'll, I'll wear a little green suit to match. <laughs> um, you know, is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience just about what John Deere has been doing? Yeah, no, I would say you can, if you're here at CES, please visit us in West Hall. If you're not here at CES, visit us at www.deer.com backslash CES, and you can get a ton of the information that we're sharing here at the show and learn more. All right, Deanna, thank you so much for yeah. joining us. It was really thank fun you. and uh, yep. always great just learning about all the amazing things you guys have done.